the wake of Shannon Doherty's death, her mother, Rosa Doherty, will keep the Beverly Hills 90210 Stars podcast running. On a new episode of the podcast, let's be clear, the actress mom reintroduced herself to listeners as the new host of the show. I want to thank you all for all the support, outpouring of love, and support that you've given Shannon over the years, and now for her family, Rosa Doherty said. We appreciate it so very much, and appreciate all of you for all the years that you followed her and loved her. The elder Doherty, who previously appeared as a guest on several episodes of the podcast, explained why Let's Be Clear was important to her daughter, who died following a long battle with breast cancer on July 14th. This podcast meant so much to Shannon because it allowed her to tell her story and tell her truth, Doherty said. Over the years, there's been so many stories and untruths and things mixed up that finally, she says, I want to do this, and I have so many people that have followed me over the years and have supported me, and I just want to give them the opportunity to hear what my life really is. Doherty went on to detail how the podcast helped her daughter through numerous challenges. It meant so much to me because I got to watch her do this when it was so special for her, and she needed it, she said. It helped her so much in everything that she was going through, and to hear back from all of you in the questions that you presented to her in podcasts when she was answering questions. That was important. The late actress mother said she's preserving the podcast at the request of the Charmed Star. I am now going to be doing my best to try to continue this for her, because that's what we discussed that she wanted me to do, Doherty said. Of course, I'm not her. I could never be her. I'm not as well-spoken as she was, but I'm here for all of you and I hope you're all here for me. Doherty then introduced her first guest, her daughter's close friend and Marie Courtright, and they discussed the complexity of their grief. I have yet to really cry, Courtright said. We both have really held it together because we've been together taking care of each other. The new host also discussed how she's dealing with her daughter's morning fans. When somebody sees me out and they're being very kind and they want to come up and hug me, she said, First thing I do is I look at them and I'm like, you can hug me, but you cannot cry. Just don't cry because if you cry, I'll start crying and I can't stop. Doherty admitted that the process of maintaining the podcast will be difficult. When I did it before, I was sitting across from Shannon. So right now it's a little overwhelming for me in that respect, she said. But as I get along down the road, it'll get better and I'll be okay. In response to a fan question about her daughter's impact, Rosa Doherty said, her legacy will be the love that she gave to everybody that she knew, and the love that she gave to the people she didn't know. She continued, I went to a lot of conventions with her, and I watched her hug these people and tears come into her eyes for the people and the stories that they were telling her, and she felt it very important that she take the time with people, people who needed a hug. I think that's her legacy, that people actually, and even more so now, they're realizing what a wonderful, kind, and warm human being she was.